welcome. We've got blue skies. So, fellow humans, it's another auto addicts. Auto addicts. And today, we're fiddling about the Land Rover. The MOT's due. So, got a couple of bits to do. Uh, need to do some welding on the rear arch, because uh, that won't pass. And uh, sort out the spotlights that keep blowing the fuse. So, uh, yeah, let's get on with it. Don't forget to watch till the end. There's a, there's a bit of an important announcement on this one. So after a bit of faffing about, I've got a patch to go down there, and the one up here is being done in two pieces, a patch to go up there, and then another one to go in there. Now it's not pretty, and it's not permanent, it is literally just for the purposes of an MOT, um, because I haven't got time to get a proper repair panel here and fitted because um, I can snot a patch over the top of a hole but um, to do it properly you need better skills than me so uh, this is literally just to get it through an MOT and then it will get a proper um, repair panel put on in the next month or two but uh, yeah so I have just given it a bit of a rust treatment don't really know why but nonetheless so uh, yeah, let's um, go and get the welder and snot a couple of patches on. It's not neat, but it should get it through an MOT, and certainly it will be all right until uh, I have the repair panel done. 
So yeah, another job off the list. So uh, first things, let's let's get this grill off. Uh, just a few screws at the top. And uh, yeah, off it comes. Got to unclip it from around the headlight bezels, but yep, off it comes. We're uh, just check where it keeps blowing the fuse. Just have a look and see whether there's any dead shorts or anything like that. And uh, yeah, there does appear to be a short to, to earth, which is uh, obviously what's causing the blow. So we're having a look at the spotlights and a uh, couple of things. First, you can see it's been shorting out in there, so it needs to. Uh, Give that a good wrap of tape, and we can also see these joints are full of mud, and you can see that one particularly is filled right up, gone rusty. So I think that's probably part of the problem. So those will all get replaced with better joints. So again, it's not the most wonderful wiring, but. Um, it'll do for now if this all works properly then I will make up a loom for it that works a lot better and neater but for now we've got them going in these things which uh, these there shrink wrap uh, shrink, you know, shrink stuff with solder inside, so they sort of solder and shrink around the joint together, so they should be okay. So, do the lights now work?
So there you go, that looks a bit better. It's all, all sealed now. So hopefully that will stop any water getting in. So all right, let's put the grill and everything back on and uh, check they work again. So um, yeah, we will uh, see how it goes in the next video or in the next instalment of the Land Rover at least. Well, which time you should know whether or not we've passed the MOT. And... Stop! Stop, 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 stop. We have something to say. Well, as you can see, I'm editing the Land Rover video. There's my ugly mug on the screen. But uh, I thought, well, I know what's what. So let's just finish the video off. And try and keep my head in frame. But, uh, yeah... It's not good news, I'm afraid. As we can see here, we have a refusal of MOT certificate. So, driver's seat insecure, because the floor um, is, is not the right seat and the mount wasn't really done very well. Uh, we have some structural um, chassis corrosion, basically the front and rear uh, body mounts and the rear uh, seat belt uh, mounts. Uh, he probably would have let them go if the rest of the chassis hadn't have been so rotten, but you know, it is what it is. Um, so uh, I've, uh, I've now sent the part back for the, uh, the mounts. Uh, the windscreen damaged, I'm not sure about the damage, I, it doesn't appear to be any damage other than perhaps a little bit of silicon, but nonetheless. And uh, yeah, I know it needs tyres, but um, oil leak, well it's a Land Rover, if it hasn't got an oil leak it's run out of oil. So yeah, um, we have a failure. So what am I going to do about it? Well, the simple thing is um, nothing. Uh, I love the Land Rover. It's a fantastic vehicle. I bought it to sell it, as you know, four years ago. And just never quite got around to selling it because I really, really do like it. But I think the time has come where, as much as it pains me, the chances are it's probably just going to get broken for bits when it's sold. But um, I would like it, you know, to go to someone that's going to repair it. Um, I mean, really, at this stage, I think it needs a new galvanised chassis. Um, or someone that has got the time and the skills to take the body off and do a proper lasting repair. But for me, in the car park, I haven't got the skills, the time, um, or the willingness, I suppose, to do it. Um, it needs someone that can spend the time sorting it all out properly. Um, it is a shame. It's a great vehicle. I really don't want to be getting rid of it, but it needs to go. I have got something else probably coming, not quite the same, but uh, some of you may like it. It's, um, if any of you know the Festival of the Unexceptional show by Haggerty, um, I've bought it, or probably buying it, mainly for that. But actually, as it turns out, it will make a good little daily run around um, with the Land Rover now going. So... Yeah, the Land Rover, uh, over the next few days, as and when I'm not working, which seems to be all the time at the moment, hence the uh, lack of videos lately, my apologies for that. Um, I have a few in the pipeline here, I just haven't had the time to edit them. Um, yeah, so I, next few days I'll get the ball bars and the sump guard or steering guard and everything off spotlights off and all the rest of it because they add nothing to the value of the vehicle but i can sell them separately and uh, then we'll get it all up on on ebay um obviously anyone watching this should you you think you're the person to take it on um get in touch uh my email address is is on the front and will be just after this uh so by all means get in touch if it's uh, something you think you might want to take on but, uh, yeah. And, uh, until then, like, comment, subscribe, um, share it around, and uh, I'll see you next time. Ta-da!